For centuries, humanity has looked up at the night sky believing that, little by little, we were beginning to understand it. We mapped stars, identified galaxies, and calculated how many worlds might exist beyond Earth. Each new discovery gave us confidence that the universe, while vast, was ultimately knowable. Yet history shows a pattern. Every time we think we have reached the limits of understanding, the universe reveals something that proves we were wrong. Now, the James Webb Space Telescope has done exactly that. With a single image that spans nearly 13.5 billion years of cosmic history, Webb has forced scientists to confront a difficult truth. The universe is not only larger than we imagined, but older, more complex, and more populated than our strongest theories ever predicted. This is not simply a discovery. It is a redefinition of how we understand reality itself. Before Webb, the Hubble Space Telescope shaped our view of the cosmos. One of its most famous achievements was the ultra-deep field image. Hubble focused on a tiny, dark patch of sky that appeared empty to the naked eye. After days of observation, that darkness turned into light. The image revealed roughly 10,000 galaxies, each one not a star, but an entire system containing billions of stars of its own. That single image changed everything. It suggested that the observable universe could contain as many as 2 trillion galaxies. For years, Hubble's vision defined our understanding of cosmic scale. But Hubble had a limitation. It could not see the oldest light in the universe. That ancient light had been stretched by cosmic expansion into infrared wavelengths, invisible to Hubble's instruments. The James Webb Space Telescope was built to see what Hubble could not. Its golden mirrors were designed to capture infrared light, allowing it to peer further back in time than any telescope before it. When Webb finally began operations, scientists expected new details. What they did not expect was how deeply those details would challenge existing models. One of Webb's largest observing projects, known as Cosmos Webb, dedicated over 250 hours to scanning a region of sky about three times the size of the full moon. Thousands of exposures were combined into a single, incredibly detailed image. What emerged was the most expansive and information-rich map of the universe ever created. Inside this one image are nearly 780,000 galaxies. Some are relatively close to us. Others formed only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. In a single frame, Webb captured the story of cosmic evolution, from the early universe to the structures we recognize today. The scale of this image is difficult to comprehend. If Hubble's deep field were printed on a sheet of paper, Webb's cosmic map would stretch across a wall more than 13 feet wide. Every tiny point of light in that image represents a galaxy. Every galaxy contains billions of stars. And many of those stars likely host planets. But the most unsettling discovery was not the sheer number of galaxies. It was how developed many of them appeared at such early times. According to existing models, galaxies forming shortly after the Big Bang should have been small, faint, and chaotic. Instead, Webb detected bright, massive galaxies with defined shapes and heavy elements such as carbon and nitrogen. The presence of these elements means earlier generations of stars had already formed and died. This suggests that star formation began much earlier and proceeded much faster than scientists expected. These galaxies should not exist so soon after the beginning of the universe. Yet Webb shows them clearly. This discovery has serious implications. If massive, structured galaxies existed within a few hundred million years of the Big Bang, then either our timeline of cosmic evolution is incomplete, or our understanding of the fundamental processes that shape the universe is flawed. In some cases, Webb's observations contradict predictions by orders of magnitude. Webb also revealed something else hidden within the image. Galaxies are not scattered randomly across space. 
Instead, they align along enormous structures known as the cosmic web. These are vast filaments of dark matter and gas that stretch across billions of light years, connecting galaxies like beads on invisible threads. What makes this troubling is how early these structures appear. According to older models, it should have taken much longer for gravity to shape such large, organized patterns. Yet Webb shows a universe that appears structured almost from the beginning, as if order was built into reality itself. This has forced scientists to reconsider long-standing assumptions. If the universe organized itself so quickly, then gravity alone may not tell the full story. Some researchers are now exploring alternative explanations, including changes to dark matter behavior, unknown forces, or revisions to the nature of time itself. These findings also raise questions about the Big Bang. For decades, the Big Bang model has explained the origin and expansion of the universe. But Webb's data suggests the early universe was more mature than expected. This has led some scientists to consider whether the Big Bang was truly a singular beginning, or part of a larger, repeating process. Some theories propose a cyclic universe, one that expands, contracts, and is reborn. Others suggest time may not be linear, meaning cause and effect in the early universe could behave differently than we assume. These ideas remain speculative, but Webb has reopened discussions that were once considered settled. Another implication is even more unsettling. Webb hints that the universe may not have a true edge. We once spoke confidently about the observable universe, a region roughly 93 billion light years across. But Webb suggests that what we can see may be only a small fraction of a much larger reality. If galaxies appear fully formed so early, it raises the possibility that the universe is older than we believe, or perhaps eternal. Infinity, once reserved for philosophy, is now entering scientific discussion. If the universe is infinite, then every possible configuration of matter must exist somewhere within it. This idea changes how we see ourselves. Against a backdrop of endless galaxies and unimaginable distances, humanity seems insignificant. A fragile species on a small planet orbiting an average star. And yet, it was humanity that built Webb. Humanity that asked these questions. Humanity that now holds the ability to look back across nearly the entire history of the universe. There is a paradox in Webb's images. They make us feel smaller than ever before, yet also more significant. Small, because the universe is vast beyond comprehension. Significant, because we are capable of understanding it, measuring it, and questioning it. The James Webb Space Telescope was designed to extend our vision. Instead, it has shaken the foundations of cosmology. With a single image, it has shown us galaxies that should not exist, structures too vast for our models, and a universe that refuses to fit neatly into our expectations. And this is only the beginning. Webb's first year of data alone will take decades to fully analyze. Every new observation has the potential to rewrite textbooks, challenge theories, and deepen the mystery. The universe revealed by Webb is not simple. It is layered, ancient, and possibly infinite. It offers no comfort, only questions. But within that vastness lies something remarkable. A species capable of building a machine that looks into the deepest past and brings back the light of creation itself. We may be small. We may be temporary. But we are not insignificant. And as Webb continues to peer deeper into the cosmos, one truth becomes impossible to ignore. The universe is greater than we imagined. And it may be greater than we are capable of imagining at all.